I wake up. I'm lying in a bed with a doctor and a nurse staring at me. I feel drowsy, but I'm calm and I feel safe. I tell the nurse she's doing a great job, and she laughs. She probably hears that all the time. About an hour before, I had a very large cyst on my eye. My mother was at my side as the doctor walked in with a clipboard. It was a waiver asking for consent to administer anesthesia. I signed it without hesitation, and I lied in bed, and they put a mask over my face. And that was the first time I fell asleep before I got tired. A mask on the face used to be a stick in the mouth. Hospitals were not a place of safety and comfort, but a place of pain. Imagine what an amputation must feel like. It's unimaginable. Imagine a mother whose child has broken their leg and knowing what they'll have to go through to be normal again. It seemed that no one could figure out how to avoid the consequences of surgery, but then came Dr. William Morton. He hoped to find the perfect cure by consulting a variety of experts and holding countless trials that only proved to be failures. But one day, 173 years ago, he tried and succeeded. He created an ether that would remove surgical pain completely. He held a successful tooth surgery, soon followed by a successful removal of a neck tumor. News spread across the world that the miracle of medicine had finally been solved. Now families can be at ease when a loved one enters the operating room. This anesthetic allowed surgeons to do their best work under a minimally stressful environment. Morton died from a stroke at age 48. After his passing, the chief surgeon said this to his students. Young gentlemen, you see lying before you a man who has done more for humanity and for the relief of suffering than any man who has ever lived.